sharks, one of nature's most highly evolved creations, have run the gamut from just a few inches to 60 if not 70 feet. Over millennia, they have ranged in impressive sizes, each one serving a vital role in the ecosystem. Here are the eight largest sharks that have ever existed. When it comes to the depths of the sea, one of the highest ranking predators is the razor sharp toothed great white shark. They are currently the largest predatory fish on the planet, reaching lengths up to 20 to 25 feet and weighing up to 5,000 pounds. Great white sharks are torpedo shaped, slate gray with white bellies, and are equipped with strong tails that help them reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. This animal is well equipped to detect and destroy prey. Much like a whale, they can breach or leave the water altogether when ambushing their prey. Their giant mouths are lined with up to 300 serrated teeth arranged in several rows. The top teeth are larger and responsible for tearing into the prey, while the more narrow bottom teeth are designed for holding it. Also, the ampullae of Lorenzini is a unique sensing organ that helps them detect electromagnetic fields, including your heartbeat. This organ, which is concentrated on the head, forms a series of small pores which are located just below the shark skin. They can be found in many different coastal waters worldwide, but mostly at the coasts of Australia and the Pacific coasts of South America. The Greenland shark might be the longest-lived vertebrate on the planet. Scientists have found that these animals can live up to 270 years and perhaps even longer. One may also be as old as 500 years. Can you imagine living for over five centuries? It is thought that the cold water as well as their slow metabolism play an essential role in this phenomenon. So, how does a scientist tell a Greenland shark's age? The answer is in the lens. The more layers on the lens and cornea of the eye, the older the shark. This animal is brown or gray with a bulky body, small fins, ghostly eyes, and a rounded snout with an ever-gaping mouth. It frequents the waters of the northern Atlantic and Arctic regions. They can reach up to 25 feet. The Greenland shark is not considered aggressive. However, we still don't know for sure because they swim in waters too cold and deep for human preference. Unlike the great white shark, the Greenland shark's upper row of teeth lack serrations and are very thin. The lower teeth are interlocking, broad, and point outward. There are no known predators of the Greenland shark probably due to its significant size. Because it lives in an inhospitable environment and due to the shark's elusive nature, very little is known about the species. The Basking Shark, also known as the Elephant Shark, is one of the gentle giants of the shark world. They get their name because they are often seen near the surface of the water, seemingly basking in the sun. Basking sharks are the second largest fish on Earth. They are slow-moving sharks, characterized by their conical snouts and very large mouths that always remain open. These mouths are up to four feet wide. These fantastic animals grow up to 30 feet and weigh up to 10,000 pounds. And while they look intimidating, they are harmless to people. Basking sharks are found in the northern and southern regions of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. They range in color from mottled gray to brown or black, and while they do have teeth, they are smaller than your fingernails. They are also efficiently equipped to filter up to 2,000 pounds of seawater through their massive gills each hour, enjoying an exquisite all-you-can-eat buffet of zooplankton. Did you know that a basking shark's liver makes up 25% of their body weight? That is one big organ. Because of their large livers, they were hunted for centuries, 
and their liver oil was used to burn in lamps. Tecotis was a prehistoric shark of great proportions during the mid to late Cretaceous period, approximately 110 to 70 million years ago. One of the largest shellfish eating animals in history, it ruled the seafloor. Unfortunately, there is very little we know about the animal and scientists are working hard to discover all they can about this ancient mystery. This enigmatic creature grew up to 30 feet and had teeth that were giant, flat, and rounded. Tecotis was a durophage, an animal that mainly consumes hard-shelled prey. Its jaw consisted of two plates. The strong teeth were perfect for crushing giant barnacles and other hard-shelled creatures. It was likely to have been well adapted for spending a lot of time at the bottom of the ocean scavenging for hard-shell prey. Tecotis played an essential role in keeping the shellfish population in check. Fossils have been discovered in Europe, North America, South America, and East Asia. Moving on, we explore the world of the Helicoprion shark, which looked like it swam straight out of a Steven Spielberg thriller movie. This shark was about 30 to 35 feet long and was equipped with what looked like an ancient buzzsaw for its jaw. Helicoprion translates to spiral saw from Greek, and this shark is thought to have used this tool for catching squid and cephalopods. Helicoprion sharks did not have an upper row of teeth. Instead, the buzz saw attached to its jaw would hook prey and rotate back into the mouth. Researchers are eager to learn exactly why this animal had evolved in this way. This shark is thought to have lived all over the world from the Permian to the Triassic period, approximately 280 to 250 million years ago. The Helicoprion shark continues to fascinate scientists as they try to learn more from the few samples of tooth whorls and crushed cartilage they have from which to study. Otidas is another fascinating ancient mystery in the ancient shark world. Reaching 30 to 40 feet in length, it probably roamed the oceans during the Paleocene and Eocene eras, somewhere between 60 to 10 million years ago. Teeth and vertebrae fossils have been found widespread through Asia, Africa, Europe, and North America. Otidus teeth are sharp and triangular, suggesting this shark fed on bony fish and other sharks. Otidus comes from Greek, meaning ear-shaped tooth. These three-pronged teeth may have acted as a fork for the shark, helping it to grasp and tear their prey. By studying the extraordinary teeth of this species, researchers believe this predator may have been the early ancestor of the fearsome Megalodon. Much like the basking shark, the whale shark is one of the friendliest sharks of the sea and poses zero threat to humans. Resembling more of a whale than an actual shark, these beautiful giants reach sizes of 40 to 50 feet and tip the scales at 20 tons, ranking it number one for the most massive shark currently in existence. This giant creature with a mouth up to 5 feet wide enjoys filter feeding on small animals like krill, fish eggs, and small fish and squid. Whale sharks are gray to brown and characterized by a flat head, blunt mouth, white bellies, white spots and lines, and two dorsal fins. These animals can live up to 130 years, ranking them as one of the longest living sea creatures. They prefer tropical waters around the world and are also a popular tourist attraction. Finally, we reach the largest shark that has ever existed, the mighty Megalodon. These epic animals were far more frightening than your modern-day great white shark as they were about three times longer, growing 60 to 70 feet total and 20 times more massive. The Megalodon's giant dorsal fin alone was about six feet long and its tail from tip to tip was estimated to be over 20 feet long. Most megalodon teeth were serrated and up to 6 inches. 
That means a tooth alone is about the size of your hand. Imagine a whole mouthful. Their jaws, which held about 280 of these teeth, measured to be about 9 to 11 feet wide and may have exceeded pressures of 180,000 newtons. That is approximately 250 times as hard as a human bite. This aided them when dining on whales, sharks, and just about whatever else they wanted as ruler of the Miocene and Pliocene era about 10 to 2 million years ago. This animal likely roamed all over the world as fossilized teeth have been found in many different countries and continents. Just imagine if it still ruled the oceans today. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, and comment below.